Top story tonight, a disturbing report that has some Oklahomans concerned. A national environmental group found Norman has the highest levels of a potentially cancer-causing chemical in its water supply. Chromium-6 was brought to the public's attention in the movie Aaron Brockovich. Norman's levels are the highest out of 35 other cities, followed by Honolulu and Riverside, California. It's been the talk of the national news. New at 6 tonight, News 9's Adriana Iwazinski is live in Norman with reaction to this study. Adriana, I've got to imagine this has people concerned. Well, Christina, despite news of this study, there have only been a few calls here to the Norman City Hall and to the city's water treatment plant. Now, we're not talking about the same levels of chromium-6 that were made famous in that California case that was uh, basically focused on in that Aaron Brockovich movie. Norman's levels are significantly less. We're talking about 12.9 parts per billion, but they were the highest levels in that study of 35 cities. Now, Norman's utility director tells me, despite this study, he he says that Norman's water is safe to use and drink. Now, we went around Norman and talked with some residents here to see what they had to say about the study. Take a look. Bob Bryce is a longtime resident of Norman and has no problem drinking water straight from the tap, even after hearing about the study. Well, I've been drinking it for 66 years. And I don't know how long it's been high, but uh, it's, it's not a problem for me. But Torsten Cook, who lives in a nearby Norman neighborhood, is a little more concerned about the chromium-6 levels since he has kids. Well, with the water tasting like it does, it's probably not that shocking, but... Um you know, it's a concern. The city of Norman became aware of the environmental working group study over the weekend, but the director of utilities says despite the group's finding about chromium-6, Norman's water is safe to use and drink. We test for total chromium at all our wells, and we were far below the uh, limits set by the EPA. But Comiskey admits they do not test for chromium-6 specifically because it's not required. The chromium that we have, the total chromium we test, is um, groundwater, so it's naturally occurring. It's not, it wasn't a deposit, it's not a, a plume of poison that some industry put in the ground. Uh, it's in the, the aquifer, and our aquifer stand, you know, is the Garber Wellington Aquifer, so it goes from Edmond through Dell City and Moore and Midwest City and Norman and Purcell. Comiskey says if the need is determined, the city could run the groundwater through the water treatment plant, but that would require an expensive expansion of the plant. Bob Rice, for one, will be watching to see what they decide. If it gets where it's not going to be good, I certainly won't be drinking it, but it's not there yet, and I think that they'll monitor it. I hope so. <laughs> Now, those who are still concerned about that chromium-6 level can do something on their own. You can actually go to any home improvement store and buy a reverse osmosis filter. Now, ask for the specific things that it filters out, but you can take care of that yourself. Those things cost about 150 to 200 bucks. I've also checked the City of Norman does have a City Council meeting coming up next week, but no word of this will be talked about. Reporting live in Norman, I'm Adriana Ivashinsky, News 9.